So this video will show you how to build a checkpoint security management server using VMware Workstation 10. So if we go to file, new virtual machine, and we'll leave it as custom so we have further options here, and we'll click next. Uh, we'll leave the hardware compatibility as it is, click next here. Uh, I will install the operating system later, the last option is fine, click next. Linux, other Linux, 2.6x kernel 64 bit is the... Uh, option to choose, click next here. Uh, give it a name, so a name such as uh, CP Security Management is fine. You can also do uh, specify the location as well, so you can browse to it from here. Uh, leave the processes as it is, or configure it as uh, required. Click next. I always give it one gig of RAM memory, so go for one gig here. Next, um, the interface types, um, I always have it as NAT, so I don't need to change settings wherever I plug my laptop into, which is an issue with bridge mode, because bridge mode is directly connected to the uh, interface card, so I'm leaving it as this option here, click next. Um, leaving the controller types and the um, disk types as default, so click next on these. Uh, create a new virtual disk is fine. Click next here. Provide some storage space. So I'll just go 40 gig. Next here. Uh, leave the disk file as it is. So it's going to be a CP Security Management .vmdk. Click next here. You can customize the hardware. So if it was a gateway, you, I usually uh, add an extra network interface card. So one for internal side and another for the external side because it's a security management server. One interface cards absolutely fine so we'll quick finish here and we'll browse to the uh, ISO image so if we double click the CD image uh, use ISO image file so we can um, boot from uh, the checkpoint ISO image and choose that so it's in the root of C drive CPI 77 folder and specify OK here and now power on this virtual machine So select install Gyro on this system. I'll pause the video after this because it takes some time uh, before it's back with further options. So we can now verify the machine information or just proceed from here. So I'll select OK. Um, we can specify the country. I'll stick with US. Click OK on that. Um, here you should try and leave as much space for logs without compromising too much space from swap files and st uh, system root storage. So basically provide lots of storage capacity the more the better. So I'll just stick to the defaults here. Click OK. Provide a password. OK. Uh, provide IP address and information. Uh, my NAT settings for VMware is uh, the IP address will be 10.10.20.5 and the gateway will be 10.10.20.1 go for OK on that and just confirm everything's alright and click OK here so we'll go away and start to uh, install Checkpoint Gaia R77. So I'll give it a pause again and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, so it's done the package installation. It's now uh, copying the files over. So we'll pause again and we'll wait this to complete before uh, it asks us to reboot. Okay, so now the installation is complete. We will reboot and after the service backup, I'll start the video again. So the system is now back up and running and if we log in, it will specify that you have to configure the rest of the system by a browser. So if we log in from here, 
and we can see that there so what we can do now is I've got a browser up and we can uh, browse to the server so here we'll add the certificate exception and login so now what we need to do is we need to follow the first time wizard so click next here uh, change the IP settings here we can just click next it's already filled out for us the ones that we want here we can specify host name CP management uh, give it a domain domain name and DNS settings so I'll just give it the Google ones and click next optionally we can specify proxy settings here which you need the address and the port information for that and we'll untick that for now and click next Okay, so here we can uh, set the time manually or you can use an NTP server to sync to. We'll leave that as uh, as it is. Click next. So here you could specify whether it's going to be security gateway or security management server or a multi-domain server. So we're going for the first option because it's going to be a security management server. So click next. And because it's going to be a security management server, uh, we're going to untick the security gateway one here. You can also define the clustering uh, configuration down here as well. So we'll click next on that and we'll specify the checkpoint admin credentials. Always go for CP admin, give it a password. Click next. And this portion is the GUI client, so you can specify the GUI clients who are allowed to log into the security management server. I'll leave that as any IP address. Click next. And we can click finish here. So this will take a while again to uh, configure. And um, once the uh, configuration process has uh, completed, I'll start the video again. So I'll stop it. So now the configuration is complete, we can uh, select OK here. it should return the browser back to us I'll give it a pause again oh it's it's here so uh, the browser has been uh, returned back to us it's logged in to the uh, portal and we can now log in to the uh, checkpoint um, smart dashboard console the security management server via the smart dashboard console so um, you've got the option to download it from here, but I've got a local copy, so I can just browse to it. So so you can log into it via Smart Dashboard, just to have a look at things, and uh, finish off from there. So we're going to demo mode and log in with the credentials we set up earlier CP admin password provide the IP address of the management server and login so we'll approve that the fingerprint is valid Okay, so it's uh, taking a short while again. I may pause it just in case. And I'll try again in a few minutes. So this time round, I've managed to log in fine. I uh, rebooted the chat. And it's letting me log in now. So it's giving me a warning about the trial period for the licenses.
and I'll uh, pause the video again and start it up again once uh, Smart Dashboard is uh, up and running. So now we have Smart Dashboard up and running. Uh, we can have a look at the within the network objects. If we break down checkpoint, here's our security management server. So we can double click this and we can further configure it from here. We can enable further management blades from here. Uh, the one thing that's missing is an actual gateway, so an actual firewall, a security checkpoint, security gateway. This management server uh, can manage. So next, we will install a security gateway and configure it to be managed by this uh, management server. Thanks for watching.